on-screen couples are always expected to have insane chemistry, but at times they bring out the worst in each other. So here are all the on-screen duos that ended up hating each other. Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie When The Tourist featured two of the biggest stars of that time, people thought it would be a huge hit, but the chemistry between Johnny and Angelina failed to impress the fans. Reports are that it was because the duo wasn't really a big fan of each other. According to the tabloids, Depp was hell-bent on not cutting his hair for his role while Angelina wanted him to cut it all. Also, Depp obviously partied late and was very reclusive, which annoyed Angelina quite a lot, and she basically hated Depp. On the other hand, Johnny didn't like the actress either because, according to him, she was uptight and very stuck up. Moreover, they had no chemistry in real life, and that might be the reason why their on-screen love failed to impress people, despite being in the news for several months. Jamie Dornan and Dakota Johnson Fifty Shades of Grey introduced us to a whole new genre of movies, but the lack of chemistry between Dakota and Jamie was so obvious even in the trilogy. According to insiders, the two didn't like each other at all, and that's why it was hard for them to shoot intimate scenes. So much so that Dakota has called those steamy scenes mechanical, and even said once they were nothing more than a task for her. So it seems like their heated romance on screen was the last thing the duo wanted to shoot, considering their dislike for each other. Even though Dakota revealed to Vanity Fair that the two were very chill on the set and got along well, but she also once said that she would have never worked on Fifty Shades of Grey if she knew how it would be like. So things are a little bit iffy, but insiders suggest that they initially hated each other and with time they got along and are now on good terms. Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams The Notebook has to be one of the most famous romantic movies of all time, and the lead actors Ryan and Rachel had a lot to do with it. Even though the movie showed the two madly falling in love and being together forever, but in reality they got off on the wrong foot. In fact, according to the director Nick Cassavetes, both of the lead actors hated each other. He said in an interview, maybe I'm not surprised to tell this story, but they were really not getting along one day on set. The beef got so intense that Ryan even tried getting Rachel replaced with someone else. Eventually, both the actors got together and reports were that they started dating after they were done filming The Notebook. Ryan later admitted that he was wrong about Rachel McAdams, and the two are still good friends. Nina Dobrev and Paul Wesley Elena and Stefan were one of the most talked about couples in the first season of The Vampire Diaries, so it was a shock for a lot of fans when Nina Dobrev admitted that she hated Paul when they started the shoot of season one. Nina hated Paul so much that she couldn't even stand the sight of him initially, and this was the time when their characters were so in love. Nina said in an interview that she respected Paul, but she just didn't like him personally. The two eventually started getting along and are good friends now, but they've had their ups and downs, much like the relationship of Elena and Stefan. Nina even hangs out with Paul's wife now, and the two are very close friends, so it all worked out in the end. Army Hammer and Blake Lively Serena was the golden girl of the Upper East Side in Gossip Girl, and this iconic character was played by Blake Lively. She got involved with Gabriel Edwards, played by Army Hammer, but soon the rumors started that the on-screen duo wasn't really getting along well. Their characters had a fully-fledged love affair on the show, and it felt like Army would stay for at least two or three seasons. But it surprised the fans when he was written off the show by the end of season two. Hammer revealed in his 2017 interview that someone on the set didn't want him to continue working, and they forced the creators to get Army out of the show. Army basically pointed out that someone else had a hand in this situation. During this interview, Chelsea Handler was also present, and asked if it was Blake Lively who got him off the show, but Army just smiled and didn't deny anything. He had a hard time shooting his scenes because Blake hated him, and their characters ended up parting ways. Claire Danes and Leonardo DiCaprio Romeo and Juliet was one of the most iconic movies of all time because it was based on the star-crossed lovers. Danes and DiCaprio played their characters flawlessly, and the movie did so well that people still love to watch it. But Claire wasn't really a fan of Leo, as he was kind of immature during that time. In fact, he used to pull pranks on her repeatedly which made Claire very annoyed. Even though Leo was 22 back then, his immaturity was on the level of a teenager. Claire was still 16, but she was a little introverted and didn't like being too open and hated the pranks Leo pulled on her. When it comes to our hero, he also used to think that Claire kept to herself and was very reserved, which he didn't like. So the duo pretty much hated each other throughout the shoot, but Claire revealed later on that she had high expectations of Leo and had a perfect image of him in her mind. It was all because she had a huge crush on him at the time. Mark Salling and Naya Rivera The tension of Puck and Santana's love-hate relationship surely spiced up Glee and kept us all hooked. 
But the duo had the same sugar and spice kind of relationship in real life, and at one point the two hated each other. Mark and Naya got along really well initially, and they started dating during the first season of Glee. However, their relationship wasn't meant to be, so it ended badly. Soon after the breakup, Mark started seeing other women, which made Naya really jealous because they worked together and saw each other all the time. This jealousy became the reason why Naya hated Mark so much, and with time, it kept getting intense. Reports are that Rivera allegedly took out her frustration on Mark's car, and she egged it and scratched it with her keys. Things didn't improve between the two over the years, and when Naya wrote her memoir, she talked about Mark in it too. She said that she wasn't surprised to hear that Mark was arrested back in 2015 because he wasn't always on his best behavior. So it seems like the two had a lot of unresolved issues, and time never had the chance to heal Naya's wounds. Lauren Graham and Scott Patterson Gilmore Girls kept the fans wondering whether Lorelai and Luke, played by Lauren and Scott, would ever get back together, and things got pretty rough until the series finale. But reports are that Lauren and Scott didn't get along, and that's why their on-screen relationship struggled too. Lauren also revealed in a 2005 interview that the two weren't exactly best buddies during their time on set. Their characters surely had a lot of chemistry, but that's just because the two are great actors. And in real life, things were just fine between the two. However, speculations are that they didn't like each other at all. In fact, Lauren supposedly despised Scott, and there might be some truth behind such rumors. Charlie Sheen and Selma Blair Charlie isn't new to controversies, and this time the reason is his beef with anger management co-star Selma Blair. They initially played rivals on the show, but ended up falling in love. However, things weren't the same in real life. In fact, fans was shocked to see that Selma Blair was dropped out of the show in the second season. People expected her to be a part of the show for a really long time, but rumors are that it all happened because of Charlie. According to reports, Charlie wasn't pleased with Selma and was very annoyed by her complaints on his work ethic. Although Charlie denies being the reason why Selma was written off the show, but Selma's team repeatedly has said that Sheen was the one who broke the news to her about getting fired, instead of any director or producers. People are pretty invested to know why Selma wasn't a fan of Charlie work ethic because he surely is a great actor. Apart from this, the reports of this obvious feud were in the news for quite a while, and it felt like Charlie Sheen needed some anger management classes himself. Kaylee Cuoco and Johnny Galecki The complicated love story of Leonard and Penny was one of the best storylines on The Big Bang Theory. Their will-they-won't-they they romance kept people hooked. In fact, the two dated in real life for quite a while after their epic on-screen relationship chemistry. However, the romance soon fizzled out, and things started going south between the duo. According to reports, Kaylee never missed a chance to show off her new love interests in front of Johnny, and it caused quite a rift. But their bond on screen seemed to just get better with time. Both the actors are now in a place where they could call each other friends. But when their relationship ended, things got really rough. So which one of these on-screen couples are your favorite? Tell us in the comments, and thanks for watching.